good morning you guys it's windy i don't know why i bring you guys out when i'm walking it's it's pretty dumb <laughs> anyways hopefully you can hear me if you can't i am so sorry but um i don't think you're gonna be able to so emotional check-in is i'm feeling overwhelmed i think i have too many fires to put out and i don't even know where to start so <laughs> i'm trying to do everything at once and it's just like a lot i guess just too much uh, especially when you're dealing with your health in the middle of your storm see what i'm saying so yeah right now i'm just emotional i'm overwhelmed um how are you guys doing let me know how you're feeling and let's see here i was thinking today and when my husband and i got together i saw this potential for this great great man and he was pretty i mean he was 20 and i was 19 but i was forward thinking into the person that he was going to become and when i was further projecting this great person I honestly was not focused on myself looking back now I was like how was I going to how was I in the position how was I in the position to put him in a, a great a position to be great when I wasn't focusing focusing on my own greatness so I spent a lot of my 20s most of my 30s pouring into him giving to him pouring into my children and focusing on everyone's greatness around me meanwhile i was feeling stifled and like i wasn't living up to my full potential and that's because i was pouring all of my energy into the people around me while ignoring the energy I needed to pour into myself and that's horrible because a lot of times a lot of women focus on the potential that we see into men while not focusing on that same potential that we could see in ourselves do you know with the energy that I poured into my family what I could have done with myself now I would have not taken back the energy that I poured into my children not at all but when you're seeing the potential for greatness in someone that doesn't see it in themselves it's kind of like trying to push a brick wall because they're not ready for what you see they're not ready for the vision that you have for them right so you're pouring and you're like you have the potential to do this and that and this and that and they're like yeah I wholeheartedly like feel what you're saying but they're not doing anything to work towards that greatness I now realize that it just started probably around my 39th birthday that I had to start pouring that greatness into myself and when I started doing that and manifesting greatness for myself good things started happening for me and although things were crumbling around me and still kind of are um, some positive things came out of all that at a time where I was like it was like not that long ago maybe a week or two ago I was like where am I gonna get the money for I believe it was guinea pig food and all of a sudden I got a deposit for my second job in my account that day right as I was going out the door I don't know if I was walking out on faith or what but I was getting ready I was getting dressed and I was getting this guinea pig food so as soon as I'm like standing there and I was contemplating I'm like how am I getting this and I got a deposit for my second job and that was amazing so things did start looking up in California it was so hard for me to get employment so so hard and the first few months here it was difficult to even focus on that because we had so much adjusting and things that we were trying to do 
by the fifth month that we were here I was extremely sick and I had to focus on I had to halt everything and focus on my health and while I'm still going through a lot physically which wears on me emotionally I um, still try to seek out a lot of opportunity it's not easy um, trying to juggle being 100% you and you under the umbrella of being a woman a daughter a wife a mother a, a niece a cousin there's so many hats that you're wearing and sometimes oh a good friend don't forget friend because yeah so there's so many um, hats that you're wearing on a regular basis see the potential in you see where you have the potential to go and grow and what you have the potential to be and put that energy out into the universe 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 and do the work for yourself put yourself in the position that you want to be in and if you do have a significant other or children you can still pour into them but you cannot pour from an empty cup so if you're not where you want to be you can't push someone to where you see them being so make sure that you're pouring into yourself you're giving to yourself you're loving yourself you're praising yourself you're congratulating yourself on the small wins and you're doing all the things that you would do for someone else in your life because we have the audacity almost to treat people around us better than we treat ourselves we negative talk ourselves to death and you know we praise and raise those around us and why can't you congratulate yourself on things too something small doesn't have to be huge all the time I think well I know me I tend to look at life like if I didn't fully if I didn't fully accomplish something then it wasn't accomplished at all you get what I'm saying so it's just all or nothing and I can't praise myself for the steps that it took me to get there like oh my gosh I did this I did that you know even with buying this house all the things I did before it didn't even matter I didn't even praise myself I didn't even like say anything that uh, I took this great leap of faith came out here yes it didn't work out the way I wanted it to and no this is not my forever home but still a great leap of faith that I did all these things and I aligned all these stars for us and I was like no on to the next thing so congratulate yourself for things that you do big or small because all those little steps lead up to the big ones and you do have to appreciate and acknowledge them and don't be so down on yourself I have a tendency to be really really down on myself a lot because while I might have achieved this I didn't achieve this you know what I'm saying so while you know I might have got the house it's not where I want it it's not how I want it to look but I have the ability to change all that and I just don't see that because I'm focusing on what didn't happen so don't let that become a you issue know where that line is where you're doing more than they're doing for themselves because I have a hard time with that like I invest, 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 invest more into a person than they do themselves. And I'm like, why am I seeing the greatness in you, but you're not? And sometimes you do have to, you know, give them that extra nudge. You have the potential to put you in a better position, soar to new heights, be a better version of yourself every single day. So do that become that better version of yourself all the things that you dream of that you're scared to do take that leap it's totally fine if you don't make it the first time I know you guys have seen all over the internet at one point or another um, people that are famous or well-known that failed or didn't start something until later in life and how many failed attempts they had before they became successful so don't feel bad for whatever age you are 
don't put all that pressure on yourself because what do they say Rome wasn't built overnight and neither are our dreams it starts with a vision and then you build upon that vision so just make sure that you're using your building blocks for what you want to do in life that's all there is to it so that's my rant of the day I'm going to pour into myself all the things that I am looking to do because I deserve to be poured into and I can take my family to greater heights if I pour into myself rather than pour into someone who isn't ready yet. So despite this, you know, I know that my husband is destined for greatness. He just has to see it for himself. I just can't allow myself to put all of my energy in one direction. You see what I'm saying? Um, I normally, because of being a housewife for so long, um, that was my focus. My kids and my husband. So that's where I poured into because that is what my main focus was. Taking care of the home and taking care of the family. So, um, yeah, ladies and gents. Uh, I don't like bugs. Um, first fill up your cup. And then what? whatever you have left over, then you pour into other cups. Because I have been trying to pour from this empty cup forever. As long as I could pour. And I think it started... <sighs> very young, very, very young. I have tried to pour into <sighs> cups when my cup was empty, and it's very hard. It's super, ooh, it's super difficult to do so um, because it's like trying to get water out of a drained well. And like, what can you get from that? Maybe some moisture at the bottom. <laughs> But you really can't give things you don't have. So that's all I'm saying is, girl, guy, take care of you first and then pass on to others. Once you feel like you've given, once you feel like you're in a position where you can comfortably pour into someone else, then do so. Mm -hmm.